Hello, welcome back. Thanks for joining us for this product testing video, which is going to be two things we got from a Toto, O-T-O-T-O. -O -T -O. Um, one is this awesome looking, I don't know, we'll find out if it works, Gracula Garlic Crusher. And the other is a pair of Elizabeth, is that how I would say that, Elizabeth? Um, scissors which i actually won't be testing these other ooh, he's about to fall other than to test how they feel because i don't have anything to cut although i do have some asparagus i wasn't planning on using it tonight but smalls and i were filming this on a tuesday and not that we're making tacos tonight but we're gonna make um fajitas and i need to make the marinade which does uh, require garlic. So let's put this Gracula garlic crusher to the test. And just as a disclosure, um, I was sent these as part of um, an Amazon affiliate and Atoto was so kind to send me both products. And you can find them in my Amazon storefront under the home scream home section, I believe of the Scareporium. That's my Amazon storefront. So that's my disclosure. And I may earn a commission if you buy anything. Thank you in advance. All right, so let's talk about this Gracula garlic crusher. This is hilarious because the box is so cute. And on the back, it says, any other vampire would run a mile at the sign of garlic, but not Gracula one twist of his head and he will crush your garlic to smithereens <laughs> that's what it says on the back i didn't actually add that which might not show up if i do that so i'll take a picture of the back pop it up here so you can see i did not ad lib that i wish i was that that talented or entertaining but okay so smalls are you ready to try this he's so excited he's he's he obviously you know he just loves spooky things so i already chopped up or um not chopped up i unpeeled some garlic so i have some now put it in here i don't know if i'm supposed to do three cloves let's start with one just to make sure i'll do one of the larger ones just to make sure to see what happens because in case for some reason this doesn't work or i don't use it correctly here it goes again pause for a moment Okay, I got him, I hope settled. One more bump though, and I'm sure he'll move again. But just in case the Gracula doesn't do the job for tonight's garlic crushing for our marinade, fajita marinade, I have my, my trusty regular pair. But hopefully I won't need them. Pardon any noise you may hear. Okay, so here we go. Oh wait, I wanna start him from, here's the little, what I think is supposed to be the, Told you we might go for us again. Okay, now Smalls should work. <laughs> if I don't bump him one more time. All right, now we're gonna try this garlic crusher. And I've never used one of these, so I'm not quite exactly sure. Well, it sounds like it's doing something, but. Well, it's sort of satisfying to twist it, I'll tell you that better than a squeeze okay so oh my gosh wow it worked okay so this was just from my one little awkward squeeze i'm gonna do a little bit more okay now i can feel it and i felt there's a post i don't know what else to call it that fits into a slot inside and so let's see if i oh it does pretty nice so it's a little bit more coarse than when I use this, but I like it. It will work. It will work perfect for a marinade. And I will take a picture to show you that. And then I'll have fun twisting the rest with smalls. So that's done. All right. Let's talk about the Elizabeth. I don't know if I'm saying that right, Elizabeth. Either way, it's really fun to say. And they're so cool. Like I had just seen them. You know, I guess outside of the box on the product page on Amazon, but 
Watch this. And I had already cut them. I didn't remove them to hold them yet. So you're going to get my honest reaction of feeling them. But I cut the little things so I could be ready to just pull them out. And I was worried that the wings would be awkward to hold, but they are not at all. And actually they're padded and really nice. So these are my scissors, my other kitchen scissors. And they, I think I actually like these more. My, well, I'm not using in the right, right hand with these, but I mean, these are, these are fine. Oh, and I just realized they have that, that grooved, I don't know what you call that. I don't even know what that's for. If you know, tell me. I think I, I knew once upon a time, but I don't. It's all I ever use is the scissors. But these rock. They feel very comfortable. They are not awkward at all. They're immediately going, sorry, other scissors, you will become my spares. These are immediately going in my butcher block where my old pair, you're still very trusty, used to be. Now I just have two and they're really cool new bat shaped one that goes perfect with my kitchen so what'd you think smalls you like these scissors let's find out we're gonna do the two arms up means yes one arm up one arm down means eh, and two arms down means no go let's see what does he say about the scissors and our new garacula Okay, so that's Small's very enthusiastic endorsement of both products to both spooky up and spice up our kitchen and still be functional because I am a Virgo. Don't know what your sign is. Let me know in the comments. Weird question to ask in a testing cooking with Small's video, right? Um, but I'm all about function. I like cute, but if it's not useful or functional i don't want anything to do with it these two pass the virgo test so all right thank you so much for tuning in and watching as we we put these two products to the test or at least in one case try the dracula and just hold our new scissors which i can't wait to start cutting things with which sounds really bad but <laughs> that's not what i mean okay until our paths cross again ciao for now I'm back again. I just wanted to add one more thing because cleanup, right? Cleanup is always an issue with new gadgets. So how hard was it to clean this up? You might be able to see there's still water on here because I just tried, tried it or tried it. I just washed it and it was very easy. Nothing stuck. It all came out. I, I was a little worried about these weird, not weird grooves. I don't know how to say, I don't know how to say what they are, the choppy parts. I thought maybe it would get stuck, but it didn't. It was rinse, did a little bit of soap, fine. So that's another benefit of this. I will definitely be using this, maybe not all the time because it does make a little bit coarser um, crush than I like. Sometimes I like this one which makes a little bit finer if I need it more minced. However, again, for tonight's recipe, this is going to be absolutely 100% perfect. And this is definitely going to remain in my repertoire. Well, we're still not done yet with revelations from these products. One other thing Smalls pointed out to me on this box was it also has a rhyme like the Dracula did. So it says, You'll never need to use a knife. These scissors will slice and dice. They'll make your cooking so much fun. With these bat scissors, your job will be done. Oh my gosh, whoever's the copywriter for this place. First of all, the designers have a blast and so do the copywriters. That's awesome. Thanks for showing that to me, Smalls. And again, thank you for tuning in.